Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean videos on the Jimmy Master animatronics and Hello everyone, this is Han Station here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey guys, tell you also me on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey everybody, it's Rue 65 on Jimmy Master Animatronics and Hey guys, it's Tyler X71 here on Jimmy Master Animatronics and What is going on you guys? Jimmy Playable Fans 98 on the Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey guys, it's the Nightmare King here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey guys, this is Diddy with Joe here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey guys, it's the Jimmy Fan here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Hey guys, it's the Jimmy fan here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. What do you wish I won here? As always. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this is going to be a special 2,000 subscri subscriber video. I know we're late as crap. I think we're almost to like 2,090 subscribers now, which is honestly crazy. But, enough about that. Here's what we have to show you. What we have here is a wide variety of prototypes. And yes, they all are official prototypes. Some samples, like that you see down below, but... Yes, this was a release one, but it's extremely limited. I, I heard maybe only 25 to 30 of these were made. Um, and we're just going to do all these in one video. And I think I have enough recording footage. I think I have over like an hour and 40 minutes. So that's great. Um, so we'll start off with this. If you want to present it, this and, is yours. Yeah, guys, so I have made a review of this already. Expect that to be up soon. Um, this is this is an invitation for retailers to go to the like headquarters of Jimmy to see all the new cool stuff. And this is for 2008, and it has normal chainsaw audio as well as a special audio track inviting people to come. And I'm also just going to show that in the review. In fact, but you could demonstrate yeah. it in here for the heck of it. Yeah. So I guess I will press it. So. You take it out of the box, I guess. For that. It's, it's, it's like any, it's like like it's like any other ordinary Except chainsaw. The button is yellow instead of red, and the chain is broken off, but that can be fixed. But then wait till you get a load of this. Have you heard the buzz? Well, listen up and prepare yourself to be amazed and thrilled during your exclusive visit to the showrooms of Jimmy Industries. We're rocking both sides of the globe with one showroom located in Dallas, Texas, and the new showroom located in Peninsula Square in Hong Kong. This is your personal invitation to visit any or both of these showrooms and take a peek at Jimmy's incredible new 2008 line. Get ready, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, there you have that. I bet that was for sure one heck of a uh, reveal. Yeah, nonetheless. So, a more in-depth video on that, which will be coming up soon. Now, um, for these these four prototypes that you see here are Donovan's as well. These two in the back are mine, and the one in the back is obviously Donovan's as well. And you've already seen the official review of her, so we're not going to be demonstrating her in this video, but we will be demonstrating the rest for you guys. So, this one was a was sent to Target. For, like when they're playing out to get the actual item, which actual item is right here. So there's quite a difference there. This is hand painted, as you can see, the paint is really chipping off, especially in that corner. But um, yeah, so this was sent to Target. I got off of eBay for 20 bucks somehow. But um, yeah, so this is what the normal one does. And then we're going to show the the sample one. This 
And what's funny about this one is that I ended up having to repair it the first time I went over to Donovan's place because the mechanism, it wasn't broken, but it was completely unglued from the from the uh, bracket that it was placed in, so I had to go in there and re-glue that and make sure everything was intact, which, is what, which it was, and it turned out great. And so these are Halloweens. Um, you wanted to just show them. Okay, so the Halloween series was a very extremely limited series, and they're not known by many people. And what you see here are two sample slash prototypes. Um, Donovan got this one from a guy named CJ. And from what I can tell, it's completely legit. Um, this is the zombie version, hand painted as you can see, pretty dang good detail. Um, these do not have batteries in them, but you know exactly what they do. You've seen the videos that um, Max the Nightmare King has posted of his Halloweens. And I'm sure Donovan will do some kind of live action yeah. videos of his. This one I can't well. make a video on, but this one I can. Yeah, this is um, this prototype, unfortunately. It cannot be opened. I mean, it can be, but without it completely damaging it, it's not really worth it. Like that, there's no screw holes completely sealed. On this one, there are some, but this one's just completely like molded together. So, in anyone's best interest, it would be best not. Yeah, to go but there in are there. prototype labels in the back. Yep. Um, I'll we'll read those to you real quick, I guess. It says right here, under number two seven two nine nine. Factory XTX, flying head, slash ghost. This one's a little different, but generally the same information. Yep, item number XTX 97, factory XTX, flying head, and then that was the zombie. Yeah. I mean, now, this one is a little bit different than the rest, and it's probably a little bit more interesting than the rest as well. It's got more detail, more character, more of a personality to this animatronic. Now, I forgot what movie this one was called. This is from Office World Shop of Horrors. Okay. But on the tag, the little paper there, it says what it was called. It says the wholesale box, how many will come in that. And yeah. And this thing is very heavy, but it sings Feed Me Seymour, I believe is the song. A really interesting mechanism. And if you look here, it does actually say Jimmy Industries on here. So then there's the button. So yeah, I'll just press this real quick. As you can see, it has a very, very good amount of detail. And by the way, this is a spring. This is not broken or by any means. It's just the way it was made. Um, this right here is kind of a sealant type of plastic. It's more of like a cemented, like a solid type of plastic rather than a, a very hollow type. Now these are the most interesting ones tabletop wise in my opinion I guess. I mean except for this one, this one kind of tops them all I would say. But these are cool because they were they come or they came to me as a set. Now what you see here are two prototype um, Halloween Freak Geeks. Um, I got these off of a fellow collector. Now I'm a little bit skeptical about this skeleton and I'll get to the reasons why afterwards. But the Frankenstein is a legit prototype. It came straight from the uh, straight from a warehouse from a guy that actually receives these prototypes. And uh, here is the prototype tag for this guy. It says uh, number two hundred seven thirty two, factory STS, no XTS. And it says funky character is monster. Um, now I don't think we have any batteries for this guy, but I will make separate reviews on those when it comes time. Um, but as you can see, it has been, it's got more of like a polished type of paint on it rather than the traditional paint. And this goes for every sort of detail on it. The chains are gold. And we got a good comparison here of the reprodu or the um, release model. Chains are clearly silver or a rustic looking color. Um, it's not as detailed and of course it has the tag here. Um, but everything on this is completely shiny. But as a matter of fact, if I can find a six volt somewhere, then um, 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the video right here and get a 6 volt to test these out with. Okay, so we have four fresh brand new AA batteries in this guy, and uh, he's ready to test, so here we go. So there you have it for the prototype Freaky Geek. Now as you can see here is the prototype Freaky Geek skeleton. And the funny thing is that when I received him his legs were extended to the point to where it just looked extremely awkward on him. But that I don't think that was original. I think someone had modified that to make it look more um, look more of a defined shape. I guess taller, more realistic. I don't know what, why they did that or how, how they even did that. Um, but it was just a crappy amateur job, so I was just like, you know, I'll just take that out. But here he is. As you can see, he's got solid painted yellow eyes. The yellow eyes are actually extremely shiny. Uh, black nose instead of a green nose. Here's the um, release Freaky Geek. Here's his tag. It says, item number 20735. Factory is unknown, clearly. And then it says, description funky character skeleton. And this one actually has the date. February 16th, 2003, one year before they were released. So, with that being said, it does the exact same thing as all the rest. So without further ado, we'll show it to you. So now we're going to get into the inflatables. This is basically a snowman with a penguin friend and the penguin's doing his hat and he's like, where's my hat? And there's the box right there as you can see. Um, just zoom in right there. So I have number 84282. There's the stock photo, which that's the only copy of the stock photo that exists. And there, there's my eBay account for advertising. Um, Jimmy Industries. That's all it says in the box, but then you can see the the penguin right there, and that is a hand painted eye, as you can sort of tell. And then there is the snowman. You can barely tell that it's hand painted. And yeah, and then we go over here, it is another version of the same one. But this is a newer one, and it actually has a prototype sticker on the box. Sorry, that's so blurry. But it kind of focuses. So there it is. It says chi stuff in Chinese and it also says for the customer Menard. So this inflatable was actually supposed to be sold at Menards, but it never was. So that's really cool. And then we have one more here, which is an older inflatable, one of the indoor models. And if the Jimmy fan can tell you what the date is on that. Uh, the made. year on that one is probably around 04. Yeah, and it actually does have the box. A very different kind of prototype box, obviously. There's a black and white photo on there. And it doesn't inflate all the way, but it's still pretty cool. And there's no lights because it's indoor use only. But, yeah, so this is a lot of prototypes and samples here. But over the years, just the two of us have been able to acquire these and there will be more to come and also expect some reviews on these individually Definitely. that if there's not already been a review for them. I know I reviewed these three already but that was a terrible video so I'm just going to do that again. Um, terrible quality. And I'll, be, <laughs> and I'll be reviewing the uh, Frankenstein the Skeleton individual. Well I may actually do like a combined video with those since they're basically the same concept when I review the rest of my Freaky Geeks which I have over there on the shelf. You can show them that. And then, um, yeah, 
I mean, more reviews to come. And the reason that I have not been making as many reviews or even videos in general is because my computer's been down. But by the time you see this video, that would have been resolved because I'm going to just give Donovan my SD card until I get a new laptop. And he's going to take care of most of the uploading and editing from here on. And I have a ton of videos that need uploading and editing, especially for the Halloween season. So, yeah. But yeah, so we've reached 2,000 subscribers. I'm very surprised that we have. I mean, it's just a couple of people that say, hey guys, at the beginning of each video. And we review... Singing and dancing toys, basically. And toilets, as you can see. Toilets, right. animated haunted toilet. And so one, this person here that's with me paid $15 for that thing. I don't know who that was. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so... And there's a lot of things in the background here, so expect more reviews for a while. I don't even know when we would stop. At this point, it's just we're just getting stronger. Pretty much, and the fact that we've, we've reached 2,000 subscribers plus for the second time, this channel has been up. This channel has been existing. Surprised the heck out of me. I mean, the first one, it was it came to me as even more of a shock, but the second one, I'm like, wow. Like, I mean, twice. We have gotten so much, you know, support and attention on these videos. And the fact that we gain, it's not really the fact that we gain a lot of subscribers, it's the fact of the stuff that, that causes this interest to me. It's just very interesting. I, I always used to think I was the only one that collected this. And of course, I met people like Donovan and a whole list of people that are on this channel. And they're also really good friends of mine. And the fact that we've made it this far with something based on something that you press a button and dances and sings for the holiday season, just, that's what gets me. That's what's like, wow. Anything is possible when it comes to this stuff, and that's for dang sure. But I guess I'm going to leave it off at that. And if you want to close off, fine with that. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for the 2,000 subscribers. And yes, we'll be doing more reviews on these prototypes and samples. And I've already done one on that one. So once this video is up, I'm like the next day I'm going to be public, making that public. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for watching.